Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Todd Coles, and as the city clerk for the city of Vaughan, it is my honor to be your master of ceremonies today. I would now ask you to pause for the playing of our national anthem. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to respectfully acknowledge that the City of Vaughan is situated in the territory in Treaty 13 lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. We also recognize the traditional territory of the Huron-Wendat and the Haudenosaunee. The City of Vaughan is currently home to many First Nations, Métis and Inuit people today. As representatives of the people of the City of Vaughan, we are grateful to have the opportunity to work and live in this territory. At this time, I would like to invite our Mayor, the Honorable Maurizio Bevilacqua, to extend greetings on behalf of Council. Thank you, Todd. Hello and welcome to everyone watching the Sixth Order of Vaughan Ceremony. I want to begin by introducing my Council colleagues. Deputy Mayor, Local and Regional Councillor Mario Ferry, Local and Regional Councillor Gino Rosati, Local and Regional Councillor Linda Jackson, Ward 1 Councillor Meryl Nyafredi, Ward 2 Councillor Tony Carella, Ward 3 Councillor Rosanna De Francesca, Ward 4 Councillor Sandra Young Racco, Ward 5 Councillor Alan Sheffman. I would also like to recognize the Order of Vaughan Selection Committee for their meaningful work to acknowledge outstanding individuals in our community whose selfless efforts have helped position Vaughan as a city of choice. We hosted the inaugural Order of Vaughan Ceremony in 2016 during the city's 25th year anniversary. I championed uh, the creation of the Order of Vaughan as a purposeful way to recognize individuals who play an important role in moving our city forward. I truly believe public service is a vocation. It is challenging, rewarding, and meaningful work that helps to improve the quality of life and the standard of living of all citizens. This year's honorees are guided by values rooted in goodwill and noble intentions to bring about positive change to people's lives. In their own unique way, each individual has made a distinct impact on the betterment of our society. It is a privilege to bestow the city's highest honor to six very deserving community leaders. This is the sixth presentation of the Order of Vaughan, the City of Vaughan's highest civic honor, and tonight we recognize six recipients with this distinguished award. Nominations are received annually for the Order of Vaughan, each supported by a nomination package that invites nominators and references to tell the unique stories of achievement, which paint a picture of their nominees. These nominations are then reviewed by a selection committee consisting of Nick Spensieri, City Manager, Gus Michaels, Acting Deputy City Manager, Community Services. 
Brian Schiffman, President and CEO of the Vaughan Chamber of Commerce. Margie Singleton, CEO of Vaughan Public Libraries. Alicia Dixon, past recipient of the Order of Vaughan. Chris Rainville, Manager, Records and Information Governance and City Archivist. And myself, the City Clerk as Chair. The Selection Committee has a difficult task distinguishing amongst the wide array of individuals who make strong commitments to the Vaughan community in the following areas of contribution. Arts and Entertainment, Business, Science and Technology, Environment, Media and Communications, Philanthropy, Public Service, Equity and Diversity, Health and Wellness, Education, Accessibility, Not-for-Profit, Spiritual and Athletics. Tonight, our recipients, having been identified as being deserving of the City's highest civic honour, will be inducted into the Order of Vaughan and receive the Order of Vaughan pin. Due to the virtual nature of tonight's ceremony, the presentation of the pin shall happen differently than normal. His Worship, the Mayor, will introduce each recipient individually before the recipient dons the pin on camera. The traditional signing of the register for the Order of Vaughan will take place at a later date when we are able to gather in person safely. I would now like to invite His Worship to recognize our Order of Vaughan recipients this evening. Thank you once again, Todd. I am pleased to introduce tonight's first Order of Vaughan recipient, Brian Keshen. A passionate leader, caring teacher, avid mentor, and devoted friend, Mr. Keshen has dedicated his career to fostering a safe and nurturing environment that is inclusive and allows all individuals to grow and thrive as valued members of the community. As Chief Executive Officer of RENA, a social services agency that supports individuals with diverse needs, Mr. Keshen is instrumental in the organization's continued success. Working tirelessly in his pursuit of excellence, Mr. Keshen engages in solution-based dialogue, attentively listening to staff and colleagues while discovering opportunities and new approaches to improve and expand RENA's services to the local community. Under his leadership, RENA has grown to provide multiple services to individuals living in Vaughan in several areas, including employment, housing, recreational and emotional support. In 2019, Mr. Keshen was presented with the Vaughan Accessibility Award in recognition of his work to foster inclusivity and advance accessibility. Mr. Keshen's passion for his uh, community and commitment to service has allowed him to reach beyond his work at RENA. He has connected with many private, nonprofit, and professional sectors and government ministers at every level to share RENA's vision for supporting individuals with diverse needs while seizing opportunities to expand and raise the standard of services across Ontario and Canada. Mr. Keshen's dedication to RENA's mission and values have enabled RENA to be recognized as a leader in the development services sector and a beacon of hope in the community. RENA is now the largest developmental service organization operating in Vaughan, thanks in great part to the trailblazing advocacy work of Brian Keshen. Brian, thank you for your contributions to accessibility and congratulations on this much deserved award. I'm pleased to introduce our next 2021 Order of Vaughan recipient, Elvira Caria. Elvira Caria is an active and engaged member of the Vaughan community. She has demonstrated a genuine and authentic desire to help her neighbors through significant and meaningful involvement in city life. For more than a decade, Ms. Caria has uh, been a dedicated board member of Vaughan in motion to cure cancer. Her civic leadership has helped raise funds for, for cancer care at the Cortellucci Vaughan Hospital. During her time as Director of Media and Sponsorship, Vaughan in Motion to Cure Cancer raised nearly $100,000 in support of cancer patients. York Region Media Group has uh, recognized Ms. Carrick's commitment to public service through its Vaughan Citizen Reader's Choice Awards. 
She received the 2020 Diamond Award in five categories, including business that gives back to local community. Ms. Carey is also a past recipient of the City of Vaughan's 2015 Ward 3 Civic Hero Award. The portraits of giving in York Region and even as a local street named after her, Carey Accord. For more than 20 years, Ms. Carey has represented the residents of Valour Woods as the chair of the Valour Woods Ratepayers Association, working with residents and members of council on several Vaughan-based initiatives. Ms. Caria also empowered the local business community as a co-creator of Savor Vaughan, a campaign that encouraged residents to dine at Vaughan restaurants with proceeds supporting the Vaughan Food Bank each Thanksgiving. Through the global COVID-19 pandemic, Ms. Caria Giving Spirit did not waver. From fundraising to finding brawlers, she devoted her time to the Elspeth Center for Women. For the last 30 years, Elvira Carey has dedicated herself in a very selfless way to her fellow citizens and the city she has called home since 1987. Thank you, Elvira, for your contributions to public service and congratulations. I'm pleased to introduce our next 2021 Order of Vaughan recipient, Yolanda De Simone Masci. Yolanda De Simone Masci has demonstrated a lifelong commitment to philanthropy and non-profit organization. Her most significant contribution to our community is the founding of Hospice Vaughan. In 1995, she was introduced to the concept of palliative care and hospice. At that time, there were no such services available here in Vaughan. After identifying this critical need, Ms. Testimony Mashi instinctively answered the call of duty. Just one year later, in 1996, Hospice Vaughan was officially founded. Today, Hospice Vaughan has evolved into a 10-bed facility impacting countless lives. An inspirational community leader, Ms. Testimony Mashi has been recognized for her commitment to philanthropy. She has been celebrated by the Minister of Status of Women, for contributing to the lives of girls and women in Ontario. Her extensive volunteer experience includes Citizenship and Immigration, Canada Host Program, CHATS Community Programs, Comitato Tricolore per gli Italiani nel Mondo, the Heart and Stroke Foundation, North York General Hospital Foundation, Amica at Villa Da Vinci and Pine Grove Lodge. She's a recipient of the Community Alliance for York Region Education Spirit of Community Award and the City of Vaughan's Volunteer Appreciation Award. Once again, thank you, Yolanda, for your contributions to philanthropy, and congratulations. It's my pleasure to introduce our next 2021 Order of Vaughan recipient, Joseph Scroll. For nearly two decades, Joseph Scroll has been steadily championing the needs for the healthcare services for the residents of Vaughan. Mr. Scrooge has demonstrated an unwavering commitment to Mackenzie Health since he first joined the foundation 13 years ago. In June 2018, Mr. Scrooge was elected to Mackenzie Health Foundation's Board of Directors. Today, he is the Vice Chair of the Foundation's Ultimate Campaign, the largest fundraising drive led by a community hospital in Canada, with proceeds benefiting Mackenzie Health. Mr. Scrow has been an important team member that will deliver the $250 million local share needed to help continue to equip Cortellucci Vaughan Hospital, the first net new hospital built in Ontario in more than 30 years. The first hospital built in Vaughan and Canada's first smart hospital. His support has ensured Mackenzie Health can provide its healthcare teams with the tools they need to deliver the ultimate in patient care. Through Mr. Scrow's ongoing leadership and dedication to the City of Vaughan, he is making a measurable impact that will continue to serve the community's health care needs well into the future. Joseph, I want to thank you for your contributions to health and wellness and congratulate you on this much-deserved award. I'm pleased to introduce our next 2021 Order of Vaughan recipient, Dr. Kareen Rachkowski. Dr. Kareen Rachkowski has served the Vaughan community for more than two decades as an award-winning educator, business leader, academic, and volunteer. 
Dr. Ashkowski has influenced the lives of Vaughn students and families through mentoring teen and adult entrepreneurs, leading community educational conferences, and providing academic consulting. She is a member of the Board of Directors, Pollution Probe, a Canadian charitable environmental organization, and also contributes to Vaughan Public Libraries. As the founder and director of BrainPower, an award-winning enrichment learning center for bright and talented youth, uh, Dr. Rashkowski inspires nearly 2,000 students each year. She's a senior research associate with York University's Faculty of Education and facilitates field research in schools across Vaughan. She founded the Future Lawyers Program, which is recognized by York Region School Boards. She has been awarded the 2019 CSPN Entrepreneur of the Year in Canada, 2019 Toronto City Mogul, 2018 Top Business, and 2019 Entrepreneur of the Year from the Vaughan Chamber of Commerce. York Region Sustainability Award and the York Region Passion into Practice Award. Thank you, Dr. Karin Rashtrowski, for your contributions to education and congratulations. This brings us to our sixth and final recipient of the 2021 Order of Vaughan. Dr. Mark Terry. Dr. Mark Terry is a longtime environmental advisor with the United Nations and a highly skilled digital artist in the field of documentary. Dr. Terry has applied his award-winning techniques to create new film projects following themes of climate change that serve as communication tools for policymakers. He developed a new media platform for the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, known as the Youth Climate Report, which the UN officially adopted. In 2011, Dr. Terry won the Academy of Canadian Cinema and Television Humanitarian Award. In 2013, he received the Diamond Jubilee Medal for International Humanitarian Service. And in 2015, he was named one of Canada's top 100 explorers by Canadian Geographic magazine. York University recognized Dr. Terry with a teaching award and research award in 2016 and 2020. He was also elected Canada's highest academy, the Royal Society of Canada, in 2020. Most recently, Dr. Terry was awarded the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Action Award in 2021 for the Youth Climate Report Project. Dr. Terry's outstanding film work in environmental research has made a substantial impact to date and will continue to inform policymaking around the world for years to come. Congratulations, Dr. Mark Terry, on this well-deserved recognition for your contributions to media and communications. These exceptional city builders have given selflessly to causes far greater than themselves. They are agents of positive change who share the same mission to make this world a better place. I want to express my warmest and sincerest gratitude and appreciation to each of you for your meaningful and lasting contributions. Your dedicated efforts further prove that one person can, in fact, make a positive difference in our society. I hope that tonight's honorees will inspire others in our community with their leadership, motivation, and determination. We will continue to pursue opportunities that will elevate our city's exceptional quality of life and unleash Vaughn's full potential by working together. Congratulations and once again, thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Your Worship, and congratulations to all of the recipients honored this evening. This concludes the 2021 Order of Vaughn Ceremony. Thank you to all of our viewers for joining us to mark this important occasion.